Every single season, we put tens of thousands of miles on our fleet of snowmobiles, and every single season, we use a lot of oil in those sleds, assessing not only the performance of the snowmobiles, but also the performance and characteristic of the oil that we use. And last season, we made a switch to a new brand of oil for our sleds in an attempt to see exactly what the results would be. While many brands will tout greater horsepower, longer engine life, lower emissions, or a special formulation secret to only them that makes their oil better, Ipone does quite the opposite and laboratory tests their oil to deliver what they say is the highest quality products possible. We found that they're happy to share their testing information or respond directly to your technical questions with thorough and articulate information right from their website contact center. Last season, I told you about Ipone's ester-based four-stroke oils, and that unlike traditional hydro-cracked dinosaur oil, these are 100% made from plant-based material in a laboratory. But did that really benefit us, or was it just another sales pitch? Well, our findings tell the story. When it came to our four-stroke sleds and snow bikes, the cold morning starts were significantly easier and allowed the engines to roll over with greater ease at extreme low temps, which we attribute to the reduced amount of additives needed with Ipone oils that eventually burn off of conventional synthetic oils. We also noticed the four-stroke engine's startup noise to be reduced, and we believe this to be from the properties of ester-based oils that actually attract the oil to the metal surfaces, causing the oil to stay on even vertical surfaces much longer, as well as the reduced solvents required to keep the oil's viscosity consistent from the first time starting with fresh oil to the last time that you cold start it before an oil change is due. Because of the oil staying on cylinder walls and other internal parts much longer, you're less reliant on the engine's oil pump at startup, which is incredibly important for those minus 30 degree mornings. Did it add horsepower? I'm not gonna claim that. However, I do believe the abuse of a minus 30 cold start with conventional oil that washes off the cylinder walls quickly and the noticeably quieter and smoother starts we experience with the Snow 4 oil will ultimately keep your performance and four-stroke power delivery more consistent over the engine's life cycle. Now on the two-stroke side of things, there's a whole lot of areas where oil can make a significant impact on your sled's reliability as well as the performance. Again, I don't believe that any oil will increase your sled's horsepower and I run from those claims. However, an oil's ability to create less carbon due to the molecular makeup is real and hugely important. We used Ipone Snow 2 oil in all of our two-stroke sleds last season and found some interesting results. The reduction in carbon molecules from a synthetic blend oil as compared to mineral-based oils, as well as a lower flash point are why synthetic blends reduce both smoke and gumming up or clogging of exhaust valves. Especially important in older technology sleds that are known for having these issues, we were pleased that we had zero issues last season. We recognized lower overall smoke produced on starts, especially when a sled has been outside all night at extremely low temps. And we were also quite happy to see that less carbon printing on belly pans and side panels was evident on sleds that typically had shown quite a bit in past seasons. We experienced zero fouled plugs, exhaust valve issues, or oil delivery and injector problems last season. But what about older sleds that do experience problems in these areas frequently? There's no doubt that older tech engines that were built to run mineral-based oils, foul plugs, have issues with sticking and clogged exhaust valves, smoke significantly, not just at startup, but at all RPM ranges, and show the signs of carbon buildup right on the body panels of the sleds. I won't say that these issues will be solved by switching to a high quality synthetic blend like Snow 2, but they will be significantly reduced due to the reduction of carbon molecules found in the oil. It's just science that there's less carbon available to build up, and with the flash point much lower, the engine's availability to produce carbon from the oil is reduced. Carbon is an engine's enemy, and fighting that carbon buildup will ultimately result in better engine reliability, longer engine life, and more consistent performance. Our results from a full season of testing and significant miles put on show that there are real benefits to using an oil like Ipone Snow 4 and Snow 2. So next time you're out shopping for a bottle of oil for your sled, make sure that you pay attention to what's going into it, because that's exactly what you're gonna get out of it. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, like it and then subscribe to our page for more great content from Snowtracks TV.